Spurgeon here with Revzilla TV to talk to you today about Pooj windscreens available at Revzilla.com. If you are looking to improve the airflow of your motorcycle, Pooj has you covered with a wide variety of windscreens. From touring screens to race screens to universal screens, Pooj has a wide variety of screens in their lineup, so you want to make sure you're using the bike finder to find the right windscreens that are going to work for your specific motorcycle. Once you have the right windscreen for your bike, installing these is going to be a breeze. A 1 out of 300 BSD, or Beard Scale of Difficulty for installation. We'll talk more about install at the end. Right now, let's dive in and talk about what sets the Pooj screens apart from other windscreens out in the market. For over 50 years, Pooj has been manufacturing motorcycle windscreens. They've since branched out into a wide variety of accessories, and in 2013, they opened up an office in Orlando, Florida to better serve the American market. While their accessories have taken off, their bread and butter is still their windscreens. They make a very high quality windscreen, so let's talk about what sets the Pooj screens apart from some of the other screens that you're going to find. First and foremost, Pooj uses acrylic as the base for their windscreens. This is going to be different than a polycarbonate screen. A polycarbonate screen tends to scratch up, you can't buff the scratches out, where an acrylic screen is going to stay looking new longer. You're going to be able to buff any scratches out that you might get. The biggest difference is that the acrylic is going to be a little bit more brittle than the polycarbonate. The one thing that Pooj has done to attend to this is they've made it a thicker acrylic. It's three millimeters thick and it's going to be more resistant than some of the other acrylics we've seen in the past to shattering and breaking. So that's what you need to think of when you're going into purchasing your windscreen. A polycarbonate screen will tend to not break as easily, but it is going to scratch and it is going to yellow and age over time, where a nice acrylic screen is going to stay looking new longer and giving you a nice, clean, clear finish. So let's go into what sets all of these screens apart within Pooja's lineup in front of me. As you can see, Pooja's screens are all available in a variety of different tints, from clear to light smoke to dark smoke over here on my left. The first screen we have over here is their touring screen, and specifically this is for a Triumph Tiger 1050. It's going to sit 11 centimeters taller than this stock screen on your Triumph Tiger 1050. Depending on what bike you decide to add a touring screen to, you're looking for anywhere from 10 to 15 centimeters taller than stock to give you better airflow and keep you protected on a longer touring ride. The next screen down in our lineup is going to be their racing screen. This particular screen is off of a Ducati Multistrada. The Ducati Multistrada, this is no taller than the actual stock OEM screen off the Multistrada, but it is going to be differently shaped. There's more of a bubble to this. And that's going to be wind tested in, in wind tunnels, and it's also going to be tested out in competition use on the track, and it's going to be designed to give you the best amount of airflow in high speed situations. Moving right along, this is off of a Kawasaki ZX-10. This is the Pooj standard screen. This is going to be an exact OEM replacement to your stock screen. So maybe you've damaged your stock screen, or maybe you just want a different tint or a different color. You already like the functionality, you don't want to change anything about that. Pooj has got you covered with a direct replacement for your OEM screen. Last on the table here, this is going to be their new generation Street Fighter screen. This is going to be off of a Triumph Speed Triple. So what I want to point out here is where on a Triumph Speed Triple you have that little base fairing. You can see that this actually replaces that entire base fairing with this nice constructed metal piece in the bottom, and it's going to then move up and give you a nice touring mounted screen. This is probably my favorite product because it allows me to take a naked bike and turn it into a more of an oriented sport touring machine. I like to really go out and spend three or 400 miles a day on a naked motorcycle, and this gives me just a little bit of protection to make it more comfortable on my neck after a long day's ride. Some of the screens that we don't see on the table, Pooj has two universal options. So, if you're out there right now and you don't have an existing screen on your bike, but you want to mount something in your handlebars, Pooj has you covered with your universal screen lineup. It's going to mount to a one inch handlebar, and they're also going to include an adapter which allows you to convert it and mount it to a seven eighths inch handlebar. The standard touring screen is going to work great for you guys out there on a Harley Davidson Sportster, on a Triumph Bonneville, something that's a little bit smaller in nature, but you want to do some longer rides with it. It's going to give you a mass amount of air protection. There's also going to be the Rafale. The Rafale is named after the French fighter jet, and it's going to be geared more to you riders out there with a more aggressive street fighter style machine. They're also going to have some OEM adapters. So make sure you're using the bike finder like we talked about in the beginning. In some cases, you can get an OEM adapter to convert a universal screen to an exact fit 
for your bike. The last thing I want to talk about is the windscreen adapter here. And as I pull this up, this is going to be something you can get in a small, medium, and large. And you're going to see it clamps to your existing screen, or you can clamp it to a push screen. It doesn't have to be used with a push screen. You can use it with any screen out there. The small is basically going to start you off with a 9 millimeter lift right here, going up to a 10 millimeter lift for the large. So you don't get anything more in the height between the small and the large other than a centimeter. But what you do get is you go from about 21 centimeters wide all the way out to about 31 and a half centimeters wide. So you do increase the size more in the width depending on which size you pick. All in all, I think there's a lot of variety in Pooja's lineup. They've done a really good job of coming up with touring screens, sports screens, OEM screens, and innovative products that are going to work and actually change the overall dynamic of your bike. Installation on all these screens is going to be relatively simple. You're looking at a 1 out of 3 on our beard scale of difficulty for install, our BSD. Really, you're looking at a few bolts, a few turns of a screwdriver or a wrench, and you're going to have these screens on your bike. It's not anything you're not going to be able to tackle in your garage in about a half an hour's worth of time. I think Pooja has done a great job of giving you a wide variety of products, from touring to OEM to innovative products over here that actually transform a motorcycle from a one-trick pony into more of a sport touring setup. I think they've done a great job of providing you a nice variety of offerings. There's a lot of folks out there using Pooja products. My opinion is not the only one in the room. If you'd like to hear more about what they have to say, click below. Read what other riders' opinions are about the Pooj screens they have installed on their bike. If you have more questions for us, never hesitate to give us a call. 877-792-9455 will get you on the phone with a gear geek. Or simply, type us out an email, cs at revzilla.com. Thank you for joining us for this look at the Pooj windscreens. I'm Spurgeon. Enjoy the ride.